for the book questions. I'm going to read you this book today. Victorian Adventure Oxford Reading Tree. Let's go. Biff and Chip had been to London with Gran. They had some pictures which they put into a scrapbook. They wanted to take the book to school. Gran came into Biff's room to look at the children's scrapbook. We had a great time in London, said Biff. Thank you, Gran. Gran was pleased. Suddenly, the magic key glowed. It was time for an adventure. The magic took the children into the little house. But did it take Gran? <laughs> bum bum ba dum ba da da. The magic took them back in time to a street on a foggy day. A boy was standing under a gas lamp. He looked at the children in surprise. Excuse me," said Biff. "Do you know where we are?" "Don't you know?" said the boy. "This is London." He took his cap off. It wasn't a boy; it was a girl. "I'm called Vicky," said the girl. "I'm called Vicky after the Queen." "What Queen?" asked Biff. "Queen Victoria," said Vicky. "Don't you know anything?" I'm hungry," said Vicky. "Have you got any money?" "No, sorry," said the children. "Come on then," said Vicky. "I know where we can get some. Follow me." Deal. They followed Vicky down wind winding streets. At last, they came to a blacksmith's. The blacksmith was looking at a horse's hoof. The horse needed a new shoe. Got any jobs, Mister? Asked Vicky. I'll give you a penny to pump the bellows," said the blacksmith. The children pumped and pumped and pumped until the fire glowed hot. It was hard work. The children were hot and thirsty. Vicky took them to a pump, and everyone had a drink. Then Vicky pumped the water. And children washed their faces. The children were hungry. Vicky took them to a baker's shop. She bought them bread with a penny. She gave some to Biff, Chip, and Kipper. The bread was hot and it smelled good. Next, Vicky took them to a street with a high wall. A boy called Jack was waiting there. He looked at Biff, Chip, and Chipper. "Who are they?" he asked. "They're my new friends," she said. They all climbed on the wall. They had to help Chipper up. They could see a big house. "It's Buckingham Palace," said Biff. "We saw it when we went to London with Gran." Ho ho ho. Suddenly, a light flashed at a window. It flashed on and off. It was flashing at Jack and Vicky. Jack had a lamp. He shone it back. Good, he said. Come on, follow me. The children jumped off the wall and ran to the palace. Keep down, called Jack, and run fast. Someone opened the window, and they all ran toward it. Dun 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 dun. She. There were three children inside. They were the grandchildren of Queen Victoria. They're staying with the Queen, but it isn't much fun for them," said Vicky. "We come to play with them every night." The Queen's grandchildren looked at Biff, Chip, and Kipper. "They're my new friends," said Vicky. "They've come to play tonight." Great! Now we can have some real fun," said one of the grandchildren. Dun 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 dun. The children played together. First, they played hide and seek. Then they played tag. After that, they played hopscotch. 
Best friendship taught them how to play basketball. This is a good game, said one of the grandchildren. How did you learn to play it? We saw it on television, said Chip. Oh, what? asked Jack. Oh, never mind, said Chip. Doon, 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 doon. Dun dun! It's fun playing in a palace, said Kipper. But will we see Queen Victoria? I hope not, said Vicky. We shouldn't be here. If the grown-ups find out, there will be trouble. At that moment, a grown-up came in and saw them. Oh no! Said everyone. Trouble! Damn. The grown-ups were very cross. They were cross with all the children. I told you there would be trouble," said Vicky. The royal grandchildren were sent to bed. A policeman came to take the others away. This is a serious matter," said the policeman. "We, you are not allowed to play with the queen's grandchildren. Come along with me." Darren, Darren. The children were taken to a police station. They were locked up. You can't go home until we find your mothers and fathers," said a policeman. "Oh no," said Biff. "We'll be here forever." I don't like this adventure," said Gipper. "It isn't much fun." He wanted the magic key to glow, but it wouldn't. The next day, an important man came to see the children. "The Queen has sent for you," he said. "Come with me." The policeman led them out. The important man took them to Buckingham Palace. Do you think we're going to have our heads chopped off? Said Kipper. Dun dun dun. Shh. Dun 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 dun. Gran was having tea with Queen Victoria. Gran said, "Chip, what are you doing in our adventure?" I'm having an adventure of my own," said Gran. Queen Victoria looked at all the children and smiled. Your grandmother has told me that you are good children," she said. "You can play with my grandchildren and stay to tea." Bum 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 bum. Shh. The children played in the throne room. They had a sack race. Come on, Biff! Called Grand. Come on, Vicky! Called the Queen. This is fun! Everyone said. You can have one more race," said the queen, "and then it'll be time for tea. I hope you like scones and homemade strawberry jam." Ta 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 ta. The magic key began to glow. It is time for the adventure to end. Goodbye," said Kipper. "Thank you for having us. It was a." Pleasure," said Queen Victoria. "Do come again." Bum, ba 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 ba. Victoria and adventure. The magic key glows and takes the children to London in the past. When they visit Buckingham Palace, they get quite a surprise. Dun dun. Victorian adventure. And bye bye, guys. See you next time.